Hi, today we are going to discuss about DNA replication model. Here we will discuss uh, replication in the cell cycle, three model of DNA replication, Meselson and Stahl experiment. So these three things we will discuss in this lecture. First of all, we will know about the cell cycle in brief. <clears throat> so this is the cell cycle which is showing different phase of the cell <clears throat> so uh, we can start from the mitosis when the mitosis takes place mitosis is a kind of cell division so after mitosis we get uh, one cell into two cell and so one parent cell is divided into two daughter cell and two daughter cell enter either into genot phase that is a cell cycle arrest phase where cell uh, do not divide do not grow in size it will be the like dormant stage the metabolic activity slows down so that is a arrest phase of the cell cycle when there is a some favorable environment then again the g1 phase the g0 phase enter into the g1 phase the g stand for gap so gap not phase means arrest stage of the cell cycle and gap one means g1 phase where the cell uh, changes in terms of the cellular content so cellular contents will increase like cytoplasm and other cellular contents will increase excluding the chromosomes chromosomes remain at, as it is but other than those content of the cells will increase in the cell after g1 phase it comes s phase where each of the 46 chromosome is duplicated by the replication DNA replication process when s phase is over here s means synthesis phase we have to understand synthesis of dna so each 46 dna get replicated so we after s phase we get g2 phase that is a gap 2 phase and this is the phase where there is a double check stage of the cell cycle and it checks uh, all the duplicated chromosomes if there is any errors and it if it may require some repair to be done if there is error inside the dna applications so after this double check is completed then the cell enter into the mitosis phase and after going through the mitosis phase the cell the parent cell divide into two daughter cells again so this cell cycle can be divided into two different phase one is mitosis where one parent cell is converted to two daughter cell and after getting two daughter cell the daughter cell enter into the interphase so self cycle has a two part mitosis and interphase in interphase we have gap not phase gap one phase S phase and gap two phase so when interphase reaches to G2 phase then it is ready to enter into the mitosis phase and accordingly the cell is divided into two daughter cells so this cycle is repeated next we are going to know 
is a model of replication DNA replication so here we have uh, three model of DNA replications in first model which is called as a conservative model here we see the parent cell has a DNA double stranded DNA and after its replication of the double stranded DNA we get double helical intact DNA and other daughter cell outer other daughter cell may contain all new copy of the the original or parental DNA cell so parental double helical structure is passed to a, a single cell and the new daughter cell may gain a new copy of a newly made DNA double strand DNA so this is called conservative model of DNA which is not accepted next is semi conservative model of DNA so here we see parental cell having a DNA double strand DNA and when there is a daughter cell made from this parental DNA so the parent daughter cell will contain DNA and the one of the strand of the DNA will be parental DNA and other will be the newly made DNA strand second daughter DNA again also there is a one parental DNA strand and the, the complementary strand is a newly synthesized DNA strand so parental DNA strands in daughter cells are partially conserved so this because of this we say semi conservative model of DNA and the third model is a dispersive model of DNA here each strand of both daughter molecules contain mixture of old and new synthesized parts of the parental DNA so out of this three model of DNA replication semi conservative model of DNA replications have been accepted widely and uh, conservative model and dispersive models models are disapproved here we can see the conservative model daughter duplex made of two newly synthesized strands parent duplex is conserved conserved in one cell and uh, the another cell the newly made dna is synthesized in semi conservative model daughter duplex are made up of one parental strand and one newly synthesized strand in dispersive model we can see the daughter duplex are made up of segment of parental dna and newly synthesized dna so here also it has been explained through the clear diagram as well that newly synthesized strands and parental strands are remained in semi conservative model both both of the parental strands and uh, is transferred to each of the daughter dna strand and and their complementary new dna strands are synthesized accordingly thank you